welcome back for another unboxing. Okay, so I've got some really, really cool, hopefully really cool stuff to show you today from two new to me companies. So I'm really, really excited um, to see this stuff myself and to share it with you guys. So I've got my list here of item descriptions. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so this is soap. This is artisan handmade soap. Um, and I told you guys that I'm going to try to start getting, want to start getting into uh, this kind of stuff. So this is from Johnny Ate My Soap. And um, I've been kind of stalking them on Instagram for a while. So this is the box. And we're going to see how this goes as far as I'm um, have a new tripod set up um, here. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully it'll be okay and look okay. And if not, then we'll figure out a better way to do it. But um, I'm always kind of trying to tweak my setup here with the lights and the tripod. But anyway, so that's the box, top of the box. That's pretty, very aesthetically pleasing. There is the card, very cute. Okay, thank you for supporting my small business. I hope these soaps arrive safely. And her name is Debbie, very, very cute. Okay, oh look, lollipops. How good? Oh my goodness, nope, that's a soap. That's a lollipop. That's a soap. Now, if that's a preview of what's in here, that's awesome because this I did not order. So, this is a little freebie. Soap pops. That's a soap pop. That is cute. Okay, very cute. Okay, I'm going to move this back here and we'll start laying these just down here, laying them out. Okay. All right, so I think I got four. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A lip balm. Okay. You guys know how I feel about lip balm. This is it's Juicy Mango. That sounds really good. I'm not going to like dig into this stuff if it's wrapped up real good because I just did my nails. Like you can see, I didn't even have even put sparkles on the sand yet. But so I don't want to mess them up too bad. But that's awesome. So thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, Debbie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. All right. So these soaps, oh my gosh, I found her on Instagram. These are just, oh no, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh no, I think this first one has just, oh no. Okay, I might have to dig through. Okay, I'll just show you real quick. So this is called, this is called Beauty, and I already can tell it smells beautiful. Um, this is a little peacock, and its little head fell off. Oh, okay, so... It's really, okay, I can I can take this little sleeve off, though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is so gorgeous. She has a lot of pictures up on her Instagram, and they're so gorgeous. So there is the whole thing. So she takes pictures of them before they're cured. I think that's the right word. And, um, and before she cuts them, so you see the top, the whole row or the whole block, whatever they're called, um, before she cuts into them and she lets you know the scent and that they'll be ready, I think, in about four weeks. And then she takes a picture of them after they're sliced and you can see the inside and they're just so, so beautiful. Mm. And this um, is scented in peach. So I guess maybe I'll just set it like that. Okay, so anyway, her head is in here somewhere. <laughs> but with all this packing, I don't know if I'll find it. Oh, there it is because it's so small. There's her little, there, oh, look. Look at the little head. So there's her little head, but that's okay. It will absolutely make no difference as far as using that soap. <laughs> okay, that looks, looks pretty fragile. Okay, so next up we have, oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is called, oh my gosh, I did not write this one down. I missed one. Okay, this, I don't remember what this is called, but this is scented, I think, in apples and apples and cinnamon. I don't know why I didn't write this one down, because I saw it on my list. Look at that. So, obviously, it's like, this would be te uh, perfect for, like, a gift for a teacher, because this has a little apple with a little worm going through it, and this is like a real straw. So, let's pop this out of its little sleeve. If I can... Okay, let me show you the back with the ingredients, too. Because we want to see. There. 
and it's got her um her little name on it too embossed that's engraved that's the word when you have when you do that to soap y'all tell me I can't think right now my daughter is actually coming home in about 30 minutes and I really want to get this done before she gets home so I'm kind of like anxious to do this unboxing okay so the next one is I guess I got five of these okay this is called sprinkles I think this was a unicorn I don't know I think this was a unicorn she might have lost her horn or maybe not maybe she's just a little prancer horse kind of um Okay, so this is scented in Huckleberry. They're not super, super fragrant. Um, they smell really nice. I can't really pick up all the specific scents. This one, let's see. That one, that one is a little more apple and cinnamon than the other two um, as far as the descriptions go. But they smell like really nice, like high quality soap, if that makes sense. Oh, but they're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. These would be, like, really awesome gifts. Um, maybe what I mean to say is they don't smell like bath bombs. <laughs> That's what I'm used to. So pretty. Okay. So, I have, like, one or two more, I think. Yeah, I think I have two more. Okay. Ooh, okay. Now, uh, these two are called Donut Shake. It's in its sleeve right there. And these two, I think, are similar. They're just different scents. So, it's got a little donut on top and a little cherry. Ooh, but this one smells pretty good. Okay, this one, the green, is called Bubblicious. So, I'm assuming that smells like bubblegum. It's a little spicy. That smells really good. This might be my favorite so far with all the blues and the greens. Of course, those are my favorite colors, blues and greens. Okay, and next, I think I have another um, donut shake. Yes, I do. So this one looks like the other one, except it's different colors. And I think this has the same scent. I think it does, yes. Oh, so pretty. Oops, I hear the dog across the street, so Scout's going to start barking. Love that. Love these. I love these. So I think my favorites are the Donut Shake. This look, those are a little bit more colorful, I think. Aren't those pretty, you guys? Okay, so um, I got these. I got you know, one or two more than I thought I would probably use. So I will probably um, put one of these in a giveaway um, that I'll probably do a giveaway at the beginning of April, just so you guys know. So I will definitely, um, not not this one. <laughs> I try not to give away uh, things that aren't 100% intact. But um, so that is Johnny Ate My Soap. And this is just so cute. I love the packaging, very cute. They smell really, really good. Mm. They're, they're really, really cute. So definitely go check her out on Instagram. And she does sell directly through her Instagram page. That is how I purchase from her. She says, let me know which ones you want. And when they're ready, um, I, I told her which ones I wanted. And I prepaid through PayPal. And when they were ready, she just shipped them off to me. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to the next box. Okay, on to our second box. Okay, so this is Oh Dear Sugar in Australia, but this isn't exactly from Oh Dear Sugar. There is the absolute sweetest, sweetest girl who has pretty much subscribed and followed me from the very, very beginning, and we talk on Instagram all the time, and she's just absolutely, she's just so, so sweet. So, um, like I said, we, we talk a good bit, and um, she offered to... Uh, get some of these things for me and so I placed an order or she placed an order for me and she sent these to me and it was just so awesome of her to do that because they don't ship to the United States they only ship within Australia and I've really wanted to um, get some things from Oh Dear Sugar because they have just some really really awesome looking bath products so um thank you Jade thank you so much you're awesome okay 
So anyway, let's have a look. And whenever I order from Australia, I'm taking a risk. If anything in here isn't 100% is because it came all the way from the other side of the globe. So that being said, um, we'll see how everything made it. Okay, so my little list is over here. Let me grab it. Okay. First we have, and I think, now I could be wrong, I think these are the first waffle bombs. I think they're the original waffle bombs. If I'm wrong, you guys can let me know. But, so I wanted to try their waffle bombs. Let me move this back. Now that you've seen the top of the box. Now this is their unicorn waffle bomb, and I've seen this demoed a lot. And it seems to have a lot of really, really pretty color. So I'm excited to try it. Very, very vibrant. And it's got some gold shimmer on top. And I think I read on the website that it could have either gold or silver shimmer on top. And um, they have a waffle sandwich too, but I didn't get that because I knew it would be bigger and I couldn't fit as much in my box. Also, they have a storefront. They have a really, really cool looking store in Australia. And I just I would die to go there. Of course, uh, I would die for a trip to Australia, but they have just a really cool looking store. So a lot of bath bomb companies don't have storefronts. That's why I mention it, but... Okay, so the next one is their Fairy Bread, and this is a bubble bar, solid bubble bath. Oh my gosh, okay, so the, pardon me. The Unicorn Waffle Bath Bomb smells like freshly baked pear pie. Let me smell it. Mm, that smells good. It smells really good, okay. Like pear berry, maybe? I don't know, a little bit like that to me. Okay, I'm just so excited to get this stuff, okay. So this is the fairy bread. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually have this stuff. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look how pretty it is. There is shimmer, gold shimmer on this side. Okay, so the scent of the fairy bread is fluffy bread and candy. This smells so good. It's really sweet. It's just a really pretty scent. It's just really pretty. I can't describe it, but I love it. I'm so excited to have this. It's just so different. It's so different. And this is one of their like line items I think they have all the time. Just the same with the um, with the unicorn waffle ball. Okay, um, because they have special items like all the time. They have, God, they have so much. I'll just have to go, just look at their website just for fun. Okay, um, now this, oh no. Okay, let me show you. Let me see if I can put this back together. Okay, this is their slice of pizza um, bubble bar, but it looks like the pepperonis fell off in transit. Oh no, it's missing its toppings, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll just we'll just stick them back on. And y'all, my mail lady, I saw her toss this on my front porch when she delivered it. So. Let's see, did that go there? Did that one go there? Oh, that's it. Maybe that one went here. Something like, something like that. <laughs> that's, now that's, that's a deep dish right there. That is a thick slice of bubble bar pizza. Okay, now, so this one is scented in, let me see, let me get my list over here. Okay, this one is scented in pineapple and coconut. Hmm, maybe a little bit of coconut. I don't smell a lot of pineapple in there. Am I holding this up close enough for you guys? I can't tell with this new tripod. That's a really big bubble bar though. That's cool, I love it. it it's really soft and um, Oh, it's really soft and a little bit crumbly, so it doesn't surprise me. Sorry, it doesn't surprise me that um that that came off, but I I like that consistency of that bubble bar. I may just um, I'm not sure how I'll do that bubble bar. I may just put it in the strainer as is. I don't know how I'll do that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm shocked. This is so big. I cannot believe how big this is. Okay, this is the Rain Dough Bath Bomb. Um, 
Clay on Rainbow and Oh Dear Sugar Rain Dough. This is um, just really vibrant. I think it's going to be really pretty in the water and it is scented in creamy caramel. Now that's not typically a scent that I like love, like the carnival scents, but I had to have this. Look at the colors. I mean, it's, first of all, it's as big as both of my hands. I thought it was gonna be like, like a small, like a little popsicle with a stick and maybe half this size, like a little Twinkie size, but it's huge. That's gonna be so much fun. I can't really smell that through the wrapper. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at the colors and look at the creativity on this stuff. So you can tell why, um, why I wanted to get this stuff so bad. Okay, so this is really cute too, and this is super original. I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, so this is called Let's Get Smashed. And I hope it didn't get smashed on the way here. Um, this is... <laughs> Bubble bar. They're a little avocados. How adorable. Okay, so this is a really, they, it says it's a really earthy scent. Um, and it is scented in kale with citrus and mint leaves. And I could not, not get these. Oh my gosh. It is really, uh, it is, it's really earthy. But um, it smells so good. It does smell good. It smells really, um, I'm going to say spa-like because I don't know how to describe any kind of earthy scent. Do you love those? How cute are those? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jade. You're so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, sweetie. You made me so happy today. Okay. Now, this is just so cute, too. And if you're seeing a theme with the food... Yeah, um, you caught me, like, with the food thing. Okay. Now, I wish, hmm, let me take, okay, be right back. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to try to take these out of the wrapper really quick to try and give you guys the full effect of these bubble bars. Because the next one is a bubble bar. And I'm going to see if I can set them up to where they look the cutest to show you guys right off the bat. I hope you can still hear me. I'm trying, I feel like I'm screaming, but I'll make this quick. And these came in pretty good shape. Oh my gosh. I just can't stand the cuteness. The cuteness factor is killing me. You guys, Fries before guys, I swear, I swear. These are bubble bars, fries before guys. How cute, oh my God, I'm killing myself. This unboxing is so just casual and stupid, but I swear to God, I, th this stuff is just the cutest I've ever seen. Okay, so uh, fries <laughs> before guys. My daughter had a shirt that said fries before guys, a little t-shirt, like a little retro tee, a little baby doll tee. Um, I'm getting off topic. It smells like summer fruits and it does smell good. I've already smelled it. So cute. Oh my God. Okay. So freaking cute. Okay. So I've only got a couple more things and I'm still racing the clock because she's going to be home any minute. Okay. So I've got a couple of little chocolate blocks, chocolate bars. Um, and they've got several different scents in these. And I'm going to go ahead and open them and show you guys. Um, so this one is called Confetti Fawn. And let's see. I don't want to rip into it. So I will cut it. Cut the wrapper. And the Confetti Fawn is scented in, it says, sweet and sticky like childhood candy. And you know, if it smells like food or it's sweet like candy, I'm all over it. And I think this is it's supposed to be really pretty. Yep, look, I feel like I'm opening a Wonka bar and getting a golden ticket. <laughs> okay, look how cute, how cute. It's very, it's sweet, it smells really sweet and a little, a little fruity. How cute is that? That's a perfect little like guest size bar of soap. That's really, really cute. Very cute. 
Okay, now, this, hang on real quick. Let me go back. Now, you know, I told you this one right here, I thought it was like a popsicle. Evidently, it actually was. I'm not like crazy or not remembering that right. But there's no way that this little popsicle, this little popsicle stick was in that like huge bath bomb. Like, and that makes any sense. That's just the sizes are off on there. Um, needed one of those huge tongue depressors. Anyway, I'm in rare form today, you guys. Okay, so let's open the, this is Fairy Floss, the little chocolate block soap. So Fairy Floss, it says the scent description is rose and strawberry. And I've had the Fairy Floss scent before, but I don't remember it having rose in the description or probably wouldn't have gotten it. But, um, so if it smells too much like rose, I might not use it. I might gift it to someone, but I don't know. We'll have to see. And this one is just, looks like it's just pink. smell any rose in there. It just smells kind of sweet. Not really like strawberries. It's just a pretty kind of sweet and fruity scent. Very cute. Very cute. And then I got a sugar scrub because I wanted to try the sugar scrub if I was going to go ahead and place this crazy big huge large bank draining order. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and try a little bit of everything. So there's the sugar scrub, and um, this is scented, obviously, in bubble gum. Ooh, oh my gosh, y'all. I'm not sure it's like super, super sweet enough for me at first sniff, but it looks like I'm a dare, dare I say as soft as Twisted Allures and as creamy, but it's not super sweet. And of course I'm not gonna dig into it, you know. I love just to open them up and look at them when I unbox, but and it's so, God, look how purple that is. But it is gorgeous, it is really pretty. Okay, guys, I think that is it. And let me just say again that my sweet friend, she wrote me, also she wrote me a sweet little handwritten note. And um, I'm gonna pop her, um, I'm gonna pop her Instagram name up on the screen too because y'all need to go follow her. She also does bath bomb demos on Instagram. So definitely go follow her and check her out. She's just the sweetest and I know I've said that a million times now, but um, she just didn't have to do that. And um, so all these demos are really, they're courtesy of her and her um, generosity and her kind heart. So thank you so much for sending this stuff to me. I really appreciate it because she's in school, she's really busy and um, I just really appreciate it. So let me know what y'all wanna see first because I don't know that I have a favorite because I can't decide because these are all so original and so cute. So let me know what you guys think of all this stuff and let me know what you wanna see first. But I appreciate you watching this unboxing like I always do and I'll just see you next time. Bye-bye.